yeah, I'm a psychologist now, but all I knew about mental health when I was in the military was it was something to stay away from. Hey, I'm Dr. McCleary, and if this is our first time meeting, my channel is dedicated to educating service members, veterans, and their families about mental health. So if that's you, consider subscribing. In this video, I'm going to give you five mental health hacks that the military taught you without you even knowing about it. And we're starting right now. The first thing that the military taught you about mental health is exercise and how exercise is good for you. Here's the reality. To do most jobs in the military, you don't need to run a five minute mile. To do most jobs in the military, you don't need to be able to do 20 pull-ups. Okay, so why do they make you PT? Why do they make you work out? Mmm, great question. Exercise is a great stress reducer. And you know when they make you exercise? In the morning, before they stress you out. They make sure that you take care of yourself before they stress you out. Tip number one. The second thing that the military taught you about taking care of your mental health is having a support system and how important having a support system around you is. Now, we might not have looked at it like this, but oftentimes, not all the time, but oftentimes when you're in the military, you're surrounded by people with like experiences and thus you feel comfortable maybe talking about some of those experiences, talking about some of the heartache. Contrary to popular opinion, and maybe if you're a civilian watching this video, this is news to you, but there's a lot of complaining that goes on in the military. A lot. Now, difference between the military world and civilian world is they both complain but in the military they still get the job done civilian world they just complain about it that's a halfway joke having a support system around you is incredibly important but often when people get out of the military a support system is the first thing that they actually lose they might feel like no one around them understands them or what they've done or what they're experiencing. Support systems, as taught in the military, are just as important outside the military. So you need to make sure that that's in your life on a regular basis. My next two are rather controversial. One is eating and two is sleeping. Now, in the military, Generally, they make sure that you eat. That's not happening on the civilian world. Nobody cares if you ate or not. When the military, they generally make sure that you eat. Now, you may not be eating what you want, but generally, they make sure that you eat. Sleeping. Revely, revely. Take your butt to bed. Well, sleep is often messed up in the military. But it's still something that's incredibly important and can greatly affect your mental health and your physical health. Make sure that you're getting adequate sleep. I can remember, not me, but a guy I know showed up to muster early in the morning, had went out the night before it was actually coming straight into muster from going out not me a guy I know a very salty um, senior enlisted person made sure that me and the guy standing next to me sorry not me this made up person got some rest the last thing that the military taught you and maybe they taught you or maybe they just solidified it when you were young 
and this is important regarding your mental health, is having fun. Now, everybody knows about the stress that goes on, you know, in the military. Okay. But military folks also have a lot of fun. Uh, also have a good time. So you have to look at having fun, having a good time is something that is essential to your mental health. And just because you got out of the military does not mean that that needs to stop. Having a good time is fundamental to a healthy mental health so something to think about and to ask yourself is when's the last time I had fun when's the last time I had a good time if it was back when you were in the military and that was 13 years ago something that we need to look at something to think about as always I hope this video was helpful for you and if it was, please like it or subscribe to my channel if you want to learn more about transitional tips or mental health. But more important than that, if this video was helpful for you, well, that means it can probably be helpful for another service member or another veteran or another friend or family member of a veteran. So I ask that you share it with them because at the end of the day, that's really what all this is about. One veteran trying to help another.